All right, Mike Brown. First off, Mike, how was Hawaii? It was a blast. Never got to never got to go before. It's a cool trip. You, uh, you know, you you've done service. You've been all over the world for. You were a Marine. A uh, Navy corpsman with a Marine unit. So you work with them in Navy, as a Navy corpsman. You do like. Um, you're, you're their medical guy, right, basically? Right, right. You're a guy, you know, you're in the platoon until uh, <clears throat> until it's time to do your uh, corpsman thing. So take care of your corpsman duties and and then, uh, you know, know, know what you're doing in the platoon and what your position is. So you did four years? Five. You did five years of that? Yeah, my school was about one year long. Uh, so they, they add on like a year-ish. To your contract because of you know the extra school you have to go to so a normal contract would be four years corpsman you got a little more training so it's five yeah you got to know how to like stop someone's femoral artery from bleeding right, them out right. stuff like that yeah. medical training right uh well, you know when you look at your service what you know a lot of guys after they do their service it's it's life maybe they'll go <laughs> and they'll become a student but nobody's going to be in a college athlete. It's kind of a rare thing. You and I, we, we just came up with Couture and Chris Veek were the two names we came up with. But it's a rare thing. You know, guys don't go as older, 21, 22-year-old freshmen in college and, and be student athletes. Why would you do that? Yeah, I, I was uh, 23, actually, when I got, when I was actually in college doing it. Um, why did I do it? It was, uh, it was a decision that... Um, it was just something I wanted to do as a, you know, uh, came out of high school, I knew I wanted to join the military, so did it. And then uh, I knew that I wanted to compete in college athletics and, uh, you know, see where it went. You started out at OCU, Oklahoma City, a um, couple time All-American? One time. One time All-American yeah. NAI. Why would you transfer to Division One? You know, you're having a comfortable career where you're one of the top guys in NAI. Why would you transfer to Division One school? I transferred to OU just, uh, you know, it was closer to my family, a little bit closer to my uh, family. Um, you know, good, good staff, good workout partners. Um, you know, bigger wrestling room, better, better facilities, just all around. I felt like it was a better environment for me to be in and, and uh, progress and uh, see, you know, push myself to be the best wrestler that I could that I could be. Being the old guy on the team, what's that like? It's uh, it's different at times, you know. I um, sometimes feel like I like I like to say I feel like uh, Billy Madison and, and high, you know when he goes back to school. Um, but you know I. Uh, I, know I, I can get along with about anybody, so it's it's not too bad. It's got its moments where I like to kind of chit chat with the, with the old the coaches, you know, and kind of get a little a little more adult time in there. But it's it's it works out. It works. You're older than Maple, and uh, and how aren't you? I'll be 27 in 16 days. So you're older than both of them. Yeah. Yeah. How's that work when when a guy is your coach and you gotta listen to him? I, 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 and honestly, I respect the heck out of both of them, and uh, they respect me too. And um, you know, I, I wrestling is, is their you know their bread and butter. Whatever they gotta say on it, you know, I, I listen to it as if they were fifty. You know, it doesn't that doesn't really impact it at all how I listen to them. I looked at uh, the, the relationship, ma but... the match with Krells from Minnesota. Yeah, you had him on the ropes. One of the most exciting matches. You guys, guys give up. Uh, you get a takedown at the end. He reverses you as time expires, and uh, sends it to overtime. You know, you wrestle a top twenty guy, a top ten guy every day, and Ross Larson. Um, that guy's a top twenty guy. Was there any doubt in your mind you could win that match with with Krells? Oh, I'll get him. Um, he's he's a. I, 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 it was a fun match, really. He was a. He really surprised me on how quick he was, you know. And uh, I, I, I can't wait to wrestle again. And um, so, you know, it was. Uh, I, I'm happy to you know be competing against those kind of caliber guys. You know, I really like. Uh, I I would rather him rather get one of those than. Uh, you know, somebody that really doesn't, you know, than be in the NAI, I guess. Is what You'd I'm rather wrestle Division One guys right, than be in right. NAI? I'd rather wrestle the guys like, uh, you know, the um, guy from, from Minnesota and who's, who's uh, super, you know, a good athlete. And, um, 
So I, I feel a lot better about doing that. Stepping up to the bigger competition right. stage? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, going for it. Did anybody, did you get to do anything fun? You know, you wrestled in the tournament. You had a couple matches. You lost two overtime matches, two tough overtime matches that I saw. You know, tough competition. Did you guys get to do anything fun? Did Coach Cody let you guys go get on the beach? Did you get to have any real fun in Hawaii, or was it all business? Um, well, yeah, we got to go got to roam around. And, um, <clears throat> some of the guys did some shopping. We did some snorkeling, too, and looked at the reefs and stuff. And, um... You know, saw some some puffer fish. I think Ross, you know, seen a puffer fish and let him know that those things are actually poisonous. I don't know if he knew that or not, but you touch them, they'll, they'll mess you up pretty good. So. Poison you, yeah, yeah. You yeah. get like horrible reaction to it. Yeah. Uh, you know, looking at what's next for you. Um, do you, what degree would you get out of Oklahoma? Political science. Political yeah. science. You can go into politics. You know, you've got Division One athletic career. You've done service to your country as a Navy corpsman, or the other route that I talked to you about was WWE you know is that something you you would think about you know I look at it you got the you got the physique for it super flexible athletic um, the voice I like the voice you know you might have to polish up on some of the acting stuff but is that something <laughs> is politics is an option what is the option for, for Mike Brown what do you do next what what I was uh, you know what I've been really playing hard on doing is uh, applying to Oklahoma City uh, Police Department and uh, pursuing a career in law enforcement up there so uh, law enforcement is definitely like where you're thinking right now but if other things come up are you opposed to that no I no I'm not a you know I'm not rolling anything out off the table uh, you know I, it, it can go a couple different ways I think that I'd be okay with and happy and happy doing you know in a career having a career that I enjoy doing instead of have to do Looking at, you know, like if you do or to do politics, that's something like you're a guy who could do it. With, with what you've done, it's stereotypically what guys do, serve their country. Not always Division One athletes, but normally it's one or the other. It shows leadership, it shows dedication, it shows discipline, all different types of things. Is that something you would think about even? Uh, you know, you know, I, I um, like the concept of <clears throat> trying to, you know, make, uh, make government better and uh, Make policy, make bigger, uh, bigger spear changes as far as everyday life for people and groups of people, and um, you know, uh, ensuring you know rights, uh, civil rights of of people and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, it, that 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 is appealing to me at times. Yeah. Uh, what does Coach Cody say to you? Do you wrestle with him at all? Who do you wrestle with the most? Do you wrestle with Andrew Howe? Who do you scrap with the most in the room? Definitely uh, Ross and uh, Merrill. Yeah. And, uh, you know, <laughs> Coach will get out there every now and again. And, uh, you know, just as long as you don't let him on your back, you, you, you'll be all right. You're saying riding you? Yeah, just don't let him on your back. He's still got it. He, he, you know, he, he's, pretty, he's pretty, pretty crafty when uh, he's got those hooks in and stuff. All right, last thing, favorite thing about Hawaii. You know, this trip, great trip, obviously, to do. What's your favorite thing about going there? And, you know, do you want to – you're going to be on the team one more year probably. Yep. yep. You want to go back? I, yeah, I hope we get to do it again. Um, <laughs> you know, it was different from other than going up to, you know, normally it's, it's it's uh, you know, we go to Iowa, we go you know, water. Central America, you know, and um, – it was, yeah, it was a good change up, good uh, change of pace on Christmas or at, you know right after Christmas. And it, was, it was a pretty nice, pretty nice treat. I'm very grateful and thankful. Favorite thing? Favorite about thing about Hawaii? Um, I'd have to say, I'd have to say just the weather and the yeah weather and scenery. Well, it's nice to be outside. You're going back to a snowstorm. You pumped? Yeah, ice storm. <laughs> Uh, you know, not really, but you know, I'll get, I'll warm back up to it, and um, you know, I'll be missing Hawaii a little bit, but for a couple of days, I guess All right, it'll you, wear off. You got anything else for me? I got nothing. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Hopefully, we're gonna see you cutting promos in the next two or three yeah. years for the WWE. And uh, hey, challenge that John Cena. I can't wait for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, appreciate it.